So the first thing we want to do is dip a taco shell in some cake mix. We're going to start with two eggs in our Doritos bag. Next, we're going to add a little bit of milk. Tick-tock cooking, a phrase that would make a Navy SEAL pee their pants. Now, we've seen our fair share of, you know, not so great cooking on this channel, but it seems like TikTok has the unique ability to always one-up what we've seen. And, well, today is no exception. Now, we looked at the TikTok account, Silly Girl, a few months ago, and I decided to go check on them, you know, see how they're doing, and, uh, that might have been a mistake. You see, I really thought during the last video that this account was just some sort of joke, that they weren't really making these recipes to be serious, that it was just kind of a satirical account. But the fact that months later, they are still continuing with the same kinds of recipes does not really help with that theory. Either that, or they're just extremely dedicated to making terrifying recipes. Don't know which one would be worse. But we did not come here to discuss the logistics of a TikTok cooking account. We're here to watch things that scare us into an oven. So, let's not waste any more time. Let's begin. Please subscribe. We're gonna start by grating the frozen chicken breast. You know, it's never a good sign when you are literally not even two seconds into a video and they're already doing something like grating a chicken breast. I can safely say I have never seen this happen in my entire life. This cannot be a genuine cooking technique, right? Please tell me I'm right. Flip my chicken around here. And this is what it should look like when you're done. I'm gonna take a shredded chicken and I'm gonna transfer it to a bowl. Crack an egg here. We're gonna add some salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of Italian seasoning, and a little bit of garlic powder. And I'm also gonna add a little bit of breadcrumbs. Now we're gonna mix all this together. Once you're done mixing, you wanna mold it together almost like a hamburger patty. Now take some saran wrap, Place it over your bowl. We want to place that inside our bowl. One thing you can guarantee if you're following a recipe off of TikTok is that you are going to go through about 17 unnecessary steps to make something that could have been made in about five minutes. I cannot think of a single use you would have for this recipe if you need a whole bowl for one patty. You're going to use every bowl you have in your house trying to make enough food to feed a family. Now we're going to take our chicken and we're going to place it into our bowl. You want to mold that to the bowl. Now we're going to fold over the saran wrap and do each side, flip it over this way, nice and tight. Now once that's wrapped, we want to place it into the freezer for about an hour. I like how she wore gloves, presumably to not have to touch the raw chicken directly, and then proceeds to touch every single thing in her kitchen without taking off the gloves. Really not doing much for yourself. All right, let's see if we can unwrap this thing. Oh. Just gonna unravel the rest here. Place that into our flour, nice and gentle. I'm gonna coat that completely. All right, goes into our egg now. I'm gonna cover it all up. Now it goes into our breadcrumbs. There we go. All right, let's give it a nice flip again. Now we're gonna pop this into the oven at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. Okay, so it's actually been about 30 minutes. Let's take a look. Whoa. So basically you've managed to make bread crumb coated chicken in about 400 extra steps. I mean, seriously, what is it with these life hack and cooking hack channels always trying to trick you into thinking their way is less work? It is literally always more effort to use their methods. Wow. All right, we're just gonna cut this in half now. Oh, that's cutting nice and smooth. Nice and slow. All right, you ready? That looks just like bread. All right, I'm gonna grab some mayo here. There we go. Now we're gonna place some burgers. Now we're gonna place some cheese. I'm gonna place another burger. I'm gonna place a little bit of ketchup. One more layer of cheese. I'm gonna add some crispy bacon. And to top it off, our burger bun. There you go, look at that. You know what? I don't want to. I don't like what I'm seeing, quite frankly. You have just created a monster. I thought we were making a vessel for some sort of sauce, some sort of basic chicken meal, and you mean to tell me you have created a hamburger bun out of chicken? Is this legal? Because it shouldn't be, at least not doing it this way. So we're gonna start with the block of Velveeta cheese. You just know if you're on a social media site and you're watching a cooking video and a block of Velveeta cheese gets thrown into the mix, it's not gonna end well. We're gonna add some macaroni noodles. Add about halfway up the cheese. Now we're gonna add some heavy whipping cream. You just wanna use enough to cover the noodles. That's enough right there. Now we're gonna add some freshly grated Monterey Jack cheese. And last little bit right here. Make that nice and even. Now we're gonna add about one cup of water. It's gonna help our noodles cook. Now I'm gonna add some mozzarella cheese. Now we're gonna place this into the oven at 375 
for 30 minutes. What is with these channels and being so adamantly against cooking pasta in the traditional way? I mean, this looks fine, except for the fact that you just didn't at least kind of cook the pasta before you put it in. I mean, fine is kind of a gracious term, I will admit. There's enough cheese in this dish to kill a large horse, but you know what I mean. Now, while that's baking, we're going to make our topping. I'm going to add some breadcrumbs. Need a lot to cover the top. Now we're going to add some melted butter. Go. I'm gonna give this a light mix here. Combine all that together. So when it looks like brown sugar, that's when you know it's ready. Now I'm gonna add some seasoning. I'm gonna add some garlic powder, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, some parsley flakes to make it look pretty, and last but not least, some grated Parmesan cheese. The more I watch these videos, the more I realize that these dishes are pretty much all made of the same ingredients, just a few differences here and there. Like, I don't think I've ever seen this woman not bread something we're going to start with two eggs in our Doritos bag. Next, we're going to add a little bit of milk. Um, you know what? No, I'm not even going to humor this one. I'm sorry, people. I have standards. We're going to start by adding some boiled pasta, and I want to fill it about three quarters way up. Crack one egg. There we go. Nice and pretty. Next, we're going to add some milk. I'm using about 175 milliliters. Next, we're going to add some vegetable oil, just using a quarter cup here. Now we're going to give it a little bit of flavor using paprika. Next, I'm gonna add some nutmeg. This gives it a nice flavor as well. I'm gonna pop both yolks, and now I'm gonna gently stir this around. I mean, at least the pasta is boiled, I guess. But this is still just dumb stunt food. She literally poured the pasta out of a mixing bowl that she could have just done this in, but instead to get more comments and feed the algorithm, she mixes it in a very inefficient way so people get angry. And, uh, it's working. I find that by twisting this, this works best. Now I'm gonna sprinkle some of that feta in here, make it nice and cheesy. Next, I'm gonna finally chop up some fresh parsley. We're gonna make it nice and pretty and colorful. We're gonna give this another toss. It's one of my favorite meals in the world. Okay, now we're gonna place this into the oven at 355 for about 30 minutes. Wow, that's perfect. Ah, uh, yes, if you entered this into the burnt noodle with egg and nutmeg competition, I think you might just win first place. Listen to that sizzle. Okay, we're gonna take a cutting board now, place it on top, very slowly and gently. <gasps> Wow, it worked! Oh, really? It did? I suppose me and you might have different definitions of that word. So the first thing we want to do is dip a taco shell in some cake mix. That's gotta be the first time a human being has ever said that in history. Now it's time we dip a taco in some cake mix? What? Look, I know people joke about Americans' diets, but I promise we do not eat this way. I want to make sure we fully cover that. Now that it's completely covered, we want to dip it in some hot oil. Be gentle, don't burn your fingers. This one should be done. Take it out and transfer that over here, right next to the other one. Now we're gonna take another taco shell and place it inside for it to hold its shape while it dries. Now once they're cool, we're gonna remove our taco shells and place them into our taco holder. You know what's sad? I could definitely see this being on the dessert menu at one of those taco shops that charge like $14 a taco, and I bet people buy it. Look how cute that is. We're gonna pour some water in a pot and bring that to a boil. Place a bowl on top here, and we're gonna melt some chocolate. Set that in there. See how that's steaming? That's gonna melt our chocolate nicely. So smooth. And we're gonna fill our tacos. Oh yeah, this is the best dessert ever. Now I'm gonna take a banana and chop that nice and fine. I'm gonna take our bananas and place them inside. A few more here. Now I'm gonna grab some strawberries. I'm gonna chop these up like our bananas, nice and fine. All right, one, two, that's better. A couple more things. I'm gonna scoop up some ice cream here. It's the best, my favorite. All right, now last one here. You know, this has the potential to be delicious if you were to just fry some cake batter and shape it into the form of a taco. But the fact that there is an actual taco shell inside of this just ruins it. You can't just fry away the taste of a pre-bought taco shell. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but the flavors of strawberries and ice cream and the flavors of an old El Paso taco shell do not exactly mix. Well, guys, another day, another video full of horrifying recipes. Which one was the worst? Personally, I'm gonna have to go with the chicken hamburger bun. That thing looked vile. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye.
Subscribe.